The defense will try to convince you that the car crash which cost Imran Habib his life was a tragic and unforeseeable accident. According to them, Imran's wife Toya simply lost control of the vehicle, causing it to veer unexpectedly into a wall. Why? Toya claims not to remember. She insists it must have been a momentary lapse of concentration. Yet forensic investigators found no evidence to support this. On the contrary, CCTV shows the car clearly being driven directly towards the wall with no attempt to swerve or brake at the last minute. How could that be? The answer is simple. Based on sworn statements from witnesses, it is the Crown's contention that immediately prior to the crash, Toya and Imran were engaged in a furious argument in which Imran revealed the true extent of his lies to Toya. Blinded by rage, Toya then deliberately and maliciously drove her car into the wall with one intention and one intention alone, to kill herself and her husband. If it pleases your honor, the prosecution will now call its first witness, Adam Barlow. In the time that you and Imran worked together, did his wife Toya ever mention to you the problems they were having in their marriage? There were one or two occasions, yeah. And on any of these occasions, did you hear her intimate she wished to kill her husband? Yeah. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yes, I did. What exactly did Mrs. Habib say, to the best of your recollection? She said to her sister, if Imran's been lying to me again, I'm going to kill him. Thank you. No further questions, Your Honour. Have you ever threatened to kill anyone, Mr. Barlow? Sorry? I mean, there must have been a time in your life where it just slipped out in the heat of the moment. Not really. Not even as a throwaway remark? In jest, perhaps? I might have said it as a joke, perhaps. So you admit that it is possible to say you kill someone without literally meaning it? Mr. Barlow? I guess it's possible, yes. Thank you. Nothing further, Your Honour. Kelly, you used to live with Imran and Toya when they fostered you for a while. Yeah, that's right. I know this must be a very distressing time for you. If I can ask you to cast your mind back to the day Imran died, in your statement to the police, you said that Imran confessed to you he'd lied in court about Abigail Webster, the mother of his child. Yeah, he did. And what did he say? He admitted that he made up all the stuff about Abby buying drugs to get custody for Alfie. That's their little boy. And what else did he tell you? Just that he felt really bad about it and that he had told Abby's husband and her lawyer as well as social services. And what about Toya? Did he say he was going to tell her? Yeah. When? Later that day. The day of the car crash? Yes. Did you believe him? Oh. Yeah, I mean, I know he lied about a load of stuff, but... I don't know, this time it was just different. Different how? It was just the way he said it. He just got really emotional and he really wanted Alfie to look up to him one day. And he knew that couldn't happen if he didn't come clean. So yeah, it was a really big thing for him. So he told you he was definitely going to tell Toya he'd lied about Abby. I know this is hard for you, Kelly, but you must tell the court the truth. Yes. 